Jack Taunton is one of the legends of sports medicine in Canada. I went out to the Alan McGavin Sports Medicine Clinic to talk to Jack, himself an outstanding athlete. Well, I've been very, very fortunate. I've been to eight Olympics. I was Chief Medical Officer for Canada in Sydney. And then I was honoured to be selected for four and a half years to be the Chief Medical Officer for 2010 uh, uh, for the Winter Olympics and the Paralympics. And I think everybody thinks, uh, like for games like the Winter Olympics, if you're Chief Medical Officer, you're just going to look after athletes. Well, we, you look after the athletes, you're 25,000 volunteers, you're 2 million spectators, uh, you have to be involved in, uh, uh, tragically now, uh, uh, terrorism and uh, have anti-terrorism uh, 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 medical strategies, uh, catastrophes I had to be have built uh, up at Whistler Mountain for the very, very first time and in a unit never existed, a mobile operating unit with uh, two ORs, four trauma beds, four ICU beds, four emergency beds. Well, I look at, you know, for me, the Olympics uh, in terms of, uh, from an organizational point of view, uh, uh, but the, the real thrill that I get is seeing the young physicians, like the individuals that are doing their, their fellowships, both physiotherapy, uh, uh, the sports physicians. I brought in chiropractors for the very, very first time at an Olympics in, you know, in 2010. And to see that full integration. And I guess the biggest compliment they gave to me in 2010 apart from that we put on the best ever uh, medical coverage, but for all the people, they said they didn't want to go back to work, and, and that was the radiologists, those making orthotics and so on. They said that uh, we created a sports medicine wonderland. The negative concern now with uh, the games uh, is the whole issue in terms of anti-doping, and to see the athletes that came forth outside of the podium uh, uh, but being be beaten by athletes that have uh, uh, been taking uh, performance enhancement uh, drugs and how that has affected uh, their ability to continue to compete, their ability like in Canada the athletes are carded or they get uh, support, not a lot, but that all comes down to what is your position? And if you're in the top eight in the world, you will get support. If you're not in the top eight in the world, and if you look in your sport, uh, uh, and if the athletes are in front of you who are all uh, athletes that have been uh, doping, that means that these individuals have an extreme uh, uh, difficulty just living and paying the rent. Uh, the other thing that really concerns me is we saw it in Seoul, where they knocked down a whole community and they, uh, in, in, in terms of real, uh, uh, they introduced golf. So that whole wetlands out and put in a golf course. And, and the whole issue is the cost, the tremendous cost for these countries to have to put on a games and how their, uh, their people uh, uh, now are uh, really in uh, uh, poverty uh, because their whole community has been knocked down. And, that is something that the IOC really has to look at when they're awarding games. We have intense training programs for our physicians. Uh, out of uh, Olympic uh, um, medicine, we have seen the development of our, our Canadian Academy of Sport and Exercise Medicine, uh, uh, which educates, which examines, which certifies our physicians. The same thing has happened uh, with physiotherapists, chiropractors have the, uh, a, a fellowship program. The other thing is in terms of the motivation for the young uh, uh, to become active. They're out there training and they've got the family out walking or cycling. Uh, and uh, and the, the heroes that we see, and we're very fortunate here in Vancouver with our national swim team here, uh, with Don McKenzie with our kayak and canoe uh, team going to, you know, to Rio with our field hockey team, and I worked with the men's field hockey team for 20 years and the women for 30. And how that has increased uh, uh, the number of participants in those sports. And the other thing that the Olympics does, and, and we saw it here in Vancouver, a program called Own the Podium, which put money into the whole sports science development of, of sport that has uh, ramifications for the younger athletes, uh, uh, and uh, the and also 
uh, you know, utilizing heart rate monitors for individuals that have coronary artery disease uh, and they need to be monitored to exercise at a safe level. All the basic work of, like, uh, of that, it's just like F1, uh, Formula One car racing. You see the, uh, 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 the effect of that in the car that you're driving on a day-to-day -day basis.